Right now is our friend Korea speaking. Okay, he she's where she's with her son Chris's, and uh, they're cute. They're from Philippines. Uh, went for a mission trip and gonna share something. Gonna be blow you away. Woo! Okay. I feel the love. There is so many love here. So, wow. so I feel the warmth in my heart. Wow, so I cry. So I thank you, God, the love here. Um, I I just a, a little bit thing to share, but uh, I don't want to to hold so so much time. But I really want to tell you what God touched my heart in Philippines. Um, for the first thing, why I'm going to Philippines because uh, some of the ladies, maybe they know it because uh, I love my helper. She's uh, Jennifer. I love her so much because she loves me. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and when I, I recognize she's not my helper anymore, she's my family. Amen. So I, I, I just have a strong feeling I want to go with her. I want to go with her. When I, when the first day I, I on drop on the Elgin, I, I, I know the answer why right? I need to go. Because I want to love her not because by my mouth. It's by my heart. I want to reset her family because her family is my family. So I want to go with her and to see her mother and her sister because they also is my mother and my sister. And when I go there, the first day, the first night, first night I arrived almost uh, ten o'clock. And when I because I go to Bacalo, I need to trans trans transit transit the the, the flight from Malila to the Bacalo. So and I still need to take the long time the 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 time the car. So when I arrive ten o'clock more than. When I when I see his, her hope, uh, please forgive me. I never go the countryside. Mm -hmm. And maybe go and uh, maybe one time for my whole life. I'm 40, 40 years old now. Only one time. So when I go there, I see uh, no toilet, <laughs> no bathroom equipment, uh, and that's so. Uh, and then uh, only if the fan is a bolo. They don't have fan. Yeah, and so many mosquitoes. <gasps> Do you know when I go Friday only, more than 100 mosquito bite? <laughs> I can it. I want my one to can it. <laughs> so, <laughs> yes, so, and so the first night I'm so thin. Uh, and then I, I, I don't know how to smile. And then I stay in my room. And Jennifer asked me, uh, are you okay, mom? I say, uh, yes, I'm okay. But for my heart, it's not really okay. <laughs> on the wall, the, the rock will fall down. When my son's sleeping, when he turn around and kick on the wall, and then the stone falling down. <laughs> so I say, God, help me. I cannot make myself fit in here. Um, but help me, I don't want. I have that feeling here. When I sleep over the night, wow, God, it's amazing. When I open my eye, look at look on the ceiling, the first feeling is, wow, so lovely. And then I immediately get my camera to take the photo. <laughs> and then I say, why? Why suddenly open lights? It's a so a little bit worried. And yeah, suddenly I feel lovely. Mm. Uh, I know that is not because God changed my mind. God is a so directly he directly gave his feeling to me. I know. The feeling is not from my side. It's him. He loves here. So I use his eye to see where I am. So I'm so amazing. And then I try, I know how to expect myself. And I go eat with them, pray with them. And, and every day I'm so glad 
I'm there. Mm. When I go to the supermarket, you everyone who knows the supermarket. Oh, 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 I'm so excited. <laughs> so cute. So cute. Either the shampoo, the lemon tea, everything is a small pair and then pair. <laughs> and then want me to go to share. I prepared what I'm sharing because before I go to Philippines, I go to a conference to hear a pastor, Bill Johnson, to talk about um, uh, God word. So I prepared all his things. Okay, I tell the people, wow, so strong. God is awesome. But when I'm standing in front of the hall, he need not change my words. <laughs> he want me to tell why I'm here. So I tell them uh, what and Jennifer and every her husband to go yes. with me, go through my life, how to rebuild my family because I grew up in a single family. I never have have any feeling, and then I don't know what is father. I never stay with my father, and even now I'm single mother. So I I never know what means husband, what means father. So when Lloyd. Um, Jennifer husband to live with us. Wow, I know what is father. So God is giving me a new family. I'm so grateful. So I tell everyone there. But every I tell him, I going back to take a seat, and suddenly the pastor is going out to preaching already, and have the feeling like the like the from keep bumping my heart. Go, 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 go. I say, no, I finished already. No, go, 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 you're not yet finished. Oh, I'm so embarrassed. But almost until the preaching finished, I say, uh, Jennifer, I'm so sorry. I inside, I say, go. I need to go again. Can you tell the person I need to tell something? Uh, OK. And the, they they so efficiency. When the pastor finished, and then the, the, the church pastor, because they invited another pastor to preaching. So when the preaching finished, the in, uh, original pastor going back, and then he said, OK, it's the time offering. OK, uh, after offering, and then, OK, thank you so much. We thank you, everyone, and then say bye-bye. <laughs> no. And then, and then Jennifer <laughs> immediately to tell, uh, uh, she need to tell something. <sighs> and then everyone sit down again, and then I'm so <laughs> embarrassed. <laughs> No, I need to go because he keep bumping me. Okay, okay. I go outside and I say, um, because God wants me to tell everyone, I believe not only the Bacalo, also you all. God say, uh, when we always have the poor, this is the pastor teaching me. If you, we always think we are poor, we are really poor. So only one thing can change, change the atmosphere by our attitude and our heart. So, if you don't, don't agree, I am poor. So how, how to do it? Use your action to be generous, to give. You have two dollars, give one dollar or two dollars, up to you. Teach by Bill Johnson. Just give. Um, and the atmosphere will change. So I tell them, yes, I come here. I know God is uh, moving here. God won your country, is not no, no more poor. Everyone be rich, but not only the finance, also your heart. Yeah. So God want me to go out to tell everyone, pray day and night to get your land authorized. Because when Adam and Eva to go out the Eden, before they they ins they they um uh they go out and God say, uh the human is have the right to manage the land, all the things. Is uh, for the man to manage. So we have the right, we have the override. Authority. Authority, yes, in the land. So if you're living here, it's God let you live in here. Just claim pray, it. claim it. You are no more poor. I have, I have the right. I need your resources here. I need the, the blessing here. 
pray day and night. You be, and then, and then with your uh, action. So, the atmosphere surround you will be changed. The poor will be gone. The rich will be calm. So, um, this is the first time I feel the God moving here. Not not first time. The the, the first night He changed my feeling is is He already here. But at the time I feel so strong because God want to change the the atmospheres over the country. Wow, it's not only one people desire, it's the whole country. So after that I have another thing God asked me to do. Go, 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 go to pray. <laughs> pray for the people. Okay, I say, okay, uh, everyone come to this home, I will pray for them. And uh, I'm so I'm so thank you God give me the honor because he let me have the time and and use me to tell his word to the people. Yes, I am so happy I can be his tool. When I put the hand to the people, I don't know why my mouth will speak something I didn't think about that. Like uh, the the children is one or two. But I will tell oh later you need to go everywhere to deliver God's gospel. But he's only one year old or two. How Prophesy. I don't, he's not yet to he not yet to speak it. Mm. <laughs> but I say you can go everywhere to deliver God's gospel. And oh and then and then I immediately say, God, I don't want to speak my mind. It's not no no no. And then one by one I God show me it's not me, it's not from me, it's from him. He will show me something, I see something and then I tell the man. I don't know the man. But after that, I pray. The man tell me he have three son. Yes, it's the situation I tell. So, oh, you know, I'm so glad I can experience God to use me, to go through me, to tell whatever He want to tell. So, and I want to tell one more thing is the children is so lovely. It's so lovely there. Everyone is smile and they are pure heart. They just play the sand or the rock. They're so happy. And then I think, why we are so demanding? They just play the sand, so happy. Why the older people play the electronic, the wheel? Is it wheel? The wheel, the, the PSV. They still not enough, enough, not enough every day to our us. So, ah, oh, I'm so blessed. So when I uh, I leading them to go to the river band to rock to do the prayer rock and I say follow me and then I sing the song and then they sing the song I say thank you God good God to shout they follow me shout thank you God I love you God <laughs> Woo! so you know I'm so happy <laughs> yeah. they them so when the day go I try don't tearing don't tearing don't crying you need to be joy but when the when the truck the, the they say it's a jibli. Jibli. Yeah, the jibli. Go. Ah, oh, I cannot control. I cry so hard. I love them. I really, really love them. And I won't ask them to call me mama. Mama. But I concern my son maybe he don't understand why you are only my mama. <laughs> so I just ask them to call me auntie. And I remember one thing God is faithful. Uh, before I go Philippines, I I do a prayer in the uh, Heidi Baker conference because her nickname is Mama Heidi. When I heard that name, I said, God, oh, I want my name is Mama Korea. <laughs> <laughs> so silly. But, but when I go to the mountain with some of the children, and then one of the ladies, a girl, girl, it's not a lady, she say, um, Auntie Korea, if you come back again, can I call your name Mama? So, wow, I'm so happy because it's not only she she called me Mama, and then she gave me a confirmation from God. So, God is always faithful. If you're willing to do the small thing He gives you on your hand, you don't say, um, it's uh, just washing the coal, uh, just cleaning the floor. No, everything is served His people. When you show his love, he will give you the bigger thing. He's willing, and then he will give you the hope. 
and hope and your confirm your desire to let you have the strength to keep going and going. So I want to tell everyone the message is not all of that. I just so exciting, so I want to share. <laughs> but the main thing is God is moving in your country. Amen. 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 represent the Hong Kong people to tell the Philippine people um, uh, thank you so much because you left your family there and then you come here to help our family this is what I want to tell them I, I want to thank you them so that it's time I can do it because I, I want to let if anyone to look at this video or you go home because so many children uh, they cry, they are prayer, yes. They want I can't wait. The, they, they, they want the mother come back. This is the prayer from the children. Yeah, I find that key, but because all the children I ask them what 